Hello, uh, I'm Pierre-Yves from OpalRT and I'm here with Steffen Vogel from RWTH Aachen. And this will be a co-simulation with RTDS and OpalRT. So we have one model open now that is the RTDS or the RSCAD model. There are two times the same circuit in it, so a, a source with a couple of resistors and an RL on the other side, so the top part will be simulated on RSCAD. The bottom part, the RL is simulated in RTLab, actually. So we will be, there is a current me measurement here, now there is a voltage measurement here, V1. It is sent over fiber optic to an OP5600 with an ML605 on the OPAL-RT side and that voltage is sent to RTLab, the RTLab model that I will sh show in a minute here has a current measurement at the top but it receives the voltage here on that controlled voltage source computes the current according to the RL on this side and sends back the current to the FPGA and then over fiberoptic to the RTDS rack. Um, so I will start the simulation in a moment. Let's come back here. I'll open my runtime environment. Here I go to RT Lab. Here load the model execute here execute also the two simulations are synchronized from the RTDS rack so over the fiber optics the RTDS sends the synchronization to OpalRT and the model in RTLab will wait until it receives the first the first simulation step to begin the simulation. And here's the result. The, the results are almost overlapped. So we see the, the measurements in the top graph here. If I zoom, I don't know how I zoom. Can you zoom for me, please? Yeah. And we'll see that actually the, the blue and the red measurements are overlapped because it's the same source in RTDS. And the the current we see are almost overlapping is because we have a one step uh, actually a, a two time step delay between the um, the RTDS and the the result that is coming from Opal RT that's because of the communication time in the link um, the model is running at 25 microseconds so we have uh, this difference is is 50 microseconds. If we go on the OpalRT side here, I have my console that is running. <clears throat> if I look in my scope, I have the V that I receive from RTDS and the I that I send to RTDS. And if I look at the results, like this, like this, it's in the uh, it's the same thing as in as we had in RSCAD, only that here it's some power system, so we are talking about amperes and volts, and in RTDS it's kilo amperes and kilo volts. And so this is in the steady states, I have my beautiful sine waves. If I go to Opal, uh, to MATLAB, I'll be able to load the um, upright file, so the data logging file, and I see the start of the simulation. So we have that increasing uh, current in the inductor, that is the top one, increasing current in the inductor that gives us the voltage. Um, I think that's, that's it.